the fuck? Why? That wasn't necessary. <sighs> every time, every time it's always here, and she always dies. It prevents tornadoes. Yeah, it, sure it does. And on that cliffhanger ending, I must go to bed for real this time. Have a down. good night. Get some sleep. The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. However, you lost consciousness. I didn't expect you to faint. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. Yeah, but it was Iris. We just saw her. It's worse. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. That's easy to say. Thinking that Iris died because of me. If mm -hmm. I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. What? Huh? Oh, you're talking now. Was I correct? No. If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? What? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. Uh-huh. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. But even so, the AC was on and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Why is that? Um. To preserve something? To A preserve body? Something. Yes. Let us move on to the next question. Second question. There was something strange about the corpse. Do you remember what that was? It was an eye missing, I remember. That is a unique factor. But there was something else, something more peculiar. It was completely frozen? Iris's body was completely frozen. The temperature read negative 58. With Iris's weight... Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But, but we it... were... Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Oh? Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. Yeah. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Why? That wasn't really Iris? You mean? You've got it. Uh, I don't know if I've got it. Was that corpse not Iris and I just saw it as Iris? No fucking way. Well, they're still there. 
Is this my right eye has been forcibly removed. It was the left eye for Shoko. X-ray. I don't believe it. The stomach is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. How? Huh? Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She Did... must have been killed after giving birth. Oh? Uh -huh. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. That's not what I was thinking at all. This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means Iris could Iris still be still alive. alive. Could still be Not alive. Necessarily. She could be alive. Yeah, see? We haven't confirmed that yet. <sighs> So you pur you've purposely picked a pink-haired girl. Multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Hmm. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. Okay. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. Understandable you'd think this is Iris, because it looks a lot like Iris. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least ten years. Ten, ten years? years? She was killed more than ten years ago? Exactly. That's not the answer I was expecting Her at all. Her is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. But there is one likely suspect. Who? The ice pick killer. Let's consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Wait, do you think Renju killed? Sunday night, we saw So here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnia. <gasps> but it, it wasn't could Iris. It be was her, her, yeah. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than ten years ago. I believe that is the case. Renju and So. Why are they connected? How are but they connected? We still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to. So, Sejima. Let's go question this guy. I'm... I really believe that person was Iris. It looked just like her. No wonder he... she was a placeholder in his memories. Hmm. Iris is just gone. I'm worried about her, but without any leads, we'd just be looking for her blindly. We should focus on the investigation for now. It'll eventually lead me to Iris. I'm sure of it. With that in mind, I headed to So's mansion. I thought I told you never to show your face here again. Yeah, well, too fucking bad. Question. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. Oh. I knew it. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I can tell. I've had tell. enough of your shit, Congressman. You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. 
Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. Where is Renju Okiura? You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's You're in cahoots! There's definitely a connection between you two. And that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? Suddenly. His security team probably... Yep. This is an over, Congressman. We'd like to ask you to please leave. Hmm. This is an over, Congressman. Damn it, so. There's <sighs> nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. We would have been detained immediately. Hmm. Who would look after Iris then? Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Ah. Calm down, Date. We still have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's give her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. What do you think? Alice and Iris. I believe it fits nicely. Uh, sure, why not? All right, Alice. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. Who? Allow me to ask you three mm. questions. Again with this? First question. I'm doing some memory games. Twice. I've times, seen this corpse. When was the first time? Ah. Uh. Two days ago, you said it. That was the second time. That was the second time? When my body was out of commission and you went to the warehouse on your own. I'm not talking about then. I'm talking about the very first time. Uh, um... Three days ago then? Three days ago. Saturday night when I synced at Abyss. I synced yes. at Abyss? In the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. We thought it was Iris, but... Question two. Who is the girl? It was Alice. Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. It wasn't Iris. Most likely, yes. We thought it was Iris. I thought it was so Iris every time. We Alice for three days. Okay. One last thing. this all happened in like the span of a week. Busy the week. Okay. In which Somnium did we see Alice? Oh. We did see it in So Sojima? I understand your logic. We did see Alice in So Somnium. In that sense, your answer is not incorrect. Oh? However, I mean specifically Alice's frozen corpse. Whose brain were we synced to then? Mizuki? My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. You mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy. But what if prophecies are nonsense? That Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. That's right. We thought that that was Iris's body, and that Iris is going to end up dead because they look so similar. So what if it's... what if it's not? Therefore... She the saw it. Seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. Iba. 
Where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. The Kume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. A Mizuki? Mizuki, what's going on, girl? What are you doing? Okay. Date. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. Okay. What are you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten-free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. And it we would talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. Where is Renju? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. That's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. Mm hmm mm hmm Oh, there it goes. Looking for Iris. Mm hmm Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? It's possible. So I need to know where he is. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Where's Oda? Let's figure out where I he is at. searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. Mizuki. I have something very important to ask you. Oh, jeez, where is this gonna go? Who? Told Mizuki about the frozen corpse. You've seen her before, haven't you? Oh. Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Mizuki, please answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? Told Mizuki everything. About how Renju ran off with the assassin, 89. How 89 is connected to So Sejima. About that. And that Sejima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. Oh? Oh, she steeled herself, licked at her head, and spoke. I'll tell you about Alice. About Alice? It was about a month ago. Uh -huh. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemnus Gate. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. Mm hmm He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself. And then... You saw her. I saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. Huh? 
Why didn't oh. you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. What did you do after that? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris' house. And huh? she was fine. What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy. Or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. Did you talk to Renji about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Oh, shit. Repressed memories are often the subject of Sonia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. Mm. I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night. Before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and... Mm-hmm. I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. You could have gotten rid of that body at any time. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. How long? Hey, Mizuki. How long was he managing the warehouse? About 10 years, right? For 18 years. 18 years. 18 years? From that long ago? Yes. I guess. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica Ey, 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. Oh. A graduate of a Toku high school. What? Oh my god. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Is Iris not when really I was young, her? I, I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ey, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. <gasps> Oh. Alice's Monica. Hitomi's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? Monica's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Aiba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. <gasps> Are we gonna sink? That. Oh shit. Hi, how are you doing? I'm very sorry. I was just super fucking into that. I was like, oh. <gasps> She did slip up, but she said, oh my god, hi again. Or Jen? Jen Lomi? I don't think I said that right at all. <laughs> How are you doing? We're solving some mysteries. 
Uh, I'm thinking this is Iris's real mom. All right. You're awfully calm. What's going on? He told me. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? Oh, she could stay calm because... Monica's body was found completely. Her right eye was missing. The cause of death was the murder weapon was most likely... She was also pregnant until just before her time of death. That's relevant. Shit. Oh, this one. <laughs> I was just trying to say because that, that it's not is an iris. iris. And you know it. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Oh. Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Oh. Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. Yeah. Cause he owns the warehouse. This one. The cold storage warehouse where the body was found. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now. And witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. Uh huh, uh huh. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I. I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? You could have just you could argue that you just know Don't that she's play missing. Dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything. Oh. Date, she's not going to talk. It's sink time. With her. Yes, it's time to sink. I want to know. I want to know so bad. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please come back within six minutes. Yes, yeah, six I can't minutes. I promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not coming back until I find something. Date, you can't. Wait, then you better why find not? something fast. You know why? Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes. But if it's only a little. No, not even a little. If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable. I... What does that mean exactly? I don't know what that means, but also I forgot that it literally puts wires through our eyes into our brain. I don't like that. I don't like that it's does that actually. I don't I don't like that. That's not fun. Um that's actually that actually makes you very uncomfortable. Why is it a secret? You two are hiding no. something. Yes, you are. I don't I don't believe you. I'm not hiding anything. Then let's try it. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Well, I think they know for sure what'll happen. Ugh, fine. I'll just say it. Yeah? Huh? Pewter, tell him. I'll say Me? it. You say it. <laughs> you know more about it than I do. <sighs> oh my god, oh. these two. No. Oh. What happens? Well, first off, six minutes is not a hard limit. Ah! It could be seven or even eight. I don't care about the exact time. I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. 
Do you remember the story I told you about the egg? No, yeah, I don't. Why? Who knows how many fucking if timelines ago that was? An egg as your consciousness, the yolk is what goes into the subject's brain. The white remains inside your shell. If you go beyond the limit, your yolk will not be able to return to its shell. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? Are we gonna I swap? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. Oh my god, did we switch? After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. What does huh? that fucking and mean? There's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subjects as well. Oh my god, we body words, swap. The entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded. Switched. Oh my... Oh my god. The human brain has what can be understood as a memory limit. One brain can only hold one consciousness. And it can only contain one person's memories. You really but you just fucking body swap? Now you know everything. Talk to the boss. I was unaware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Exploited? But... Even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. We didn't tell any sinkers this, including you. A project Sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. Oh, shit. Even sinkers right. are on a need-to-know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Bad people? A bad people. organization, spies from another country, those people. If you blabbed about Project Sink, the entire country might be at risk. You heard it from Pewter. The Sink machine isn't just for entering a person's somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Oh, can you do multiple Imagine swappies? Imagine this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. That's why I didn't tell you. We can't let this secret get out. Oh my god. Why did he have to explain it in the weirdest way? You could just be like, well, your brain and your consciousness and memories, everything just fucking body swap. That's it. You could just you could have just said that. That's yeah, crazy. Swapping bodies between two people? Trading minds? Shit be wild. Remember what I told you earlier. Yeah, don't be late. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. Understood. Let us begin. <laughs> All right, we're going in.